Pro Control brings to a Pro Tools session the ease of use associated with analog recording consoles. Let's take a look. The Control Room Monitoring section provides all the familiar volume controls and switches for main and alternate speakers, and auxiliary volumes for headphones and sends. This is the only part of the console that audio actually passes through, and great care has been taken to ensure high-quality audio reproduction. Comprehensive routing capabilities for surround sound and control room dubbing is described in the Pro Control Manual. The talkback volume and mic are also located here, and the talkback button is conveniently located near the transport control. The familiar transport controls are augmented with additional features like the online button, return to zero, go to end, external transport, loop playback and loop record, and quick punch. Using Pro Control, we can select the transport and memory location windows in Pro Tools. Use the keypad to select a location and play from there. A special feature of Pro Control is the audition section. Here you can instantly access pre and post roll and in and out points. Let's audition pre roll. This works with external machines engaged as well. Now let's take a look at how fast it is to get to the faders and channels you need, especially in large sessions. Use the Bank Select section to move in increments of 8, 16, 24, or 32 channels, depending on how many fader packs are being used. On an 8-channel Pro Control system, the current Pro Tools channels are highlighted in blue, and on expanded systems, a different color outline is used to represent each bank. Use the Nudge button to move in single-channel increments. Here's another way. Say we want to go to the bass track, which is track 5. Using the channel matrix, hit the Go To button, and the number you select will place that channel at the far left fader strip. While this demo just scratches the surface, it's clear that Pro Control makes it easy to fly around a large session with the greatest of ease. The Select Assign section makes it easy to assign the inputs, outputs, and sends of a channel. By default, the pan switch is lit, and the data encoders control channel pan. Notice the pan slider in Pro Tools responding. The Select Assign section includes buttons for pan, monitor phase, input, and output. In Select mode, temporarily pressing any of these switches will display their status in the scribble strips to the right. The Select Assign section also includes the Master Assign switch, Master Send Mute, and the five Send switches. The flip switch is a valuable feature found on high-end mixing consoles and is further described in the automation tutorial. To assign an input to a channel, enter Assign mode by pressing the Assign button, then select Input. Use the data encoders to scroll through the available sources, like Digidesign hardware inputs and internal send buses. The channel's pre-post assign mute switch flashes to indicate the original setting has been changed. When the desired input is displayed in the scribble strip, press the flashing master assign switch to confirm the new setting for that channel. Setting the channel outputs is just as easy. After hitting the assign button, select output. By the way, to cancel this or any other operation, press the escape switch located in the channel matrix section. The send switches correspond to the five mono stereo sends available on each Pro Tools channel. The data encoders scroll through all available mono sends, followed by all available stereo sends. To apply the same assignment, whether input, output, or send, to all channels, hold down the Option Alt All switch when confirming the setting with the pre post assign mute switch. Send assignment can also be done from the DSP Edit Assign section, where all five sends on any channel are available at once. Press a channel Insert Send switch, then press the Send switch in the DSP Edit Assign section. All five of the selected channel's current send assignments are visible in the top five displays, with the selected channel name shown below in the Channel Group display. Press the Assign Enable switch next to a send and scroll through the available sends. Finally, press the flashing Assign Enable button to confirm.
The capabilities of the Select Assigned section greatly improve the speed with which Pro Tools can be set up. Plugins are one of the most powerful areas of Pro Tools, and there's a vast selection of processing options from DigiDesign and their numerous development partners. Pro Control makes it even easier to assign, edit, and automate plugins. The DSP Edit Assign section is the focal point and features eight rows of plugin controls. To add a four band EQ to the vocal track, press the Insert Send switch on the channel and press an Assign Enable switch in the DSP Edit Assign section. Select the plugin and press the flashing Assign Enable switch to confirm. You can tweak the EQ settings by pressing the Select Auto switch to reveal the first page of parameters. Select additional groups of parameters from the channel matrix. To bypass the plugin, hit the Bypass In Out switch. The currently displayed plugin may also be bypassed with the Master Bypass switch at the bottom of the DSP Edit Assign section. The EQ and dynamic switches on each channel provide an all-new advancement in Pro Tools mixing capability. With the Master In Edit switch lit, it's easy to see which channels have EQ and dynamics inserted. To edit a channel's EQ, hit that button. If there's more than one EQ in the channel, pressing the button again will scroll through inserted EQs. With the Master In Edit switch deselected, these buttons are now used to globally bypass EQs or dynamics on each channel. Here's another cool feature. Double press a channel insert send switch to reveal that channel's topmost or most recently edited plugin. Double clicking again will cycle through the plugins inserted on that channel. Flying through plugin parameters has never been easier. Check out the Pro Control User's Guide for even more details on these powerful features. The Channel Matrix provides a brand new way of viewing and working with the tracks and channels in Pro Tools. Let's check out some of the new features. No more scrolling the mix window as the bank A to D switches select groups of 32 channels at a time, providing a powerful way to navigate large sessions. Like the Go To switch, the View switch instantly brings up any eight contiguous channels on the Pro Control faders. The difference is that view mode is latching so you can continue to select channel numbers. The go to switch is great after you become familiar with your session and you want to go right to a specific channel. The view switch on the other hand is better when you're looking for a specific track or you're not yet familiar with the exact location of tracks within a large session. The status section lets you view and perform functions like solo, mute and record ready. Press the solo switch and press number 1 to solo the drums group and 5 to solo the bass. Unsolo everything by pressing clear all. The same can be done with the mute, select and record ready buttons. The channel matrix buttons can also be used to type in names. Let's rename the bass track by double clicking its channel select button. The familiar dialog box appears in Pro Tools and the alpha switch flashes, indicating the channel matrix now enters alphanumeric characters. Type in the name and hit the enter button in the Pro Control keypad or the computer keyboard. Also, the group switches allow you to create, select, edit, and suspend groups using the channel matrix primary switches. Pro Control is much faster than using a mouse and keyboard. There's a lot more functionality that the channel matrix provides, like with automation and plugins to name two. So be sure to check out the Pro Control manual for more features. Pro Control puts virtually all of Pro Tools mix automation capabilities at your fingertips. To demonstrate, let's record a fade out with the master fader. First, we'll select volume from the automation enable section. Next, with a cool new feature of Pro Control, the Master Fader switch, when pressed, instantly maps all the session's master faders to the main Pro Control unit. Use the channel's Auto button to select Right Mode. Now we'll hit Play and fade the song. Let's check it out. Okay. 
This basic technique can be used to automate virtually every parameter in Pro Tools. Of course, a sends level and mute can be automated, and you can take advantage of the smooth, high-resolution, touch-sensitive digifaders to enter and record the sends automation data. First, enable the send you're interested in working with using the master select assign send switches. Then, press the flip switch. In this mode, the digifaders control the send level, and the channel mute button controls the send mute. Also in this mode, the channel data encoders can adjust send pan if the send being automated is stereo. To automate a plug-in parameter, right enable the track the plug-in is inserted on and hit the Assign Enable switch in the DSP Edit Assign section. Mix automation with Pro Control is fast and intuitive and it's far too comprehensive to go into here. Be sure to check out the user's guide for many more creative possibilities.